um, now c equals 5, 5 divided by 9 f minus 32. Are you there with me? Yes. Okay, you can do a trick. c equals 5 divided by 9 okay. f, e f minus 32. Right? This is same as first multiply by 5. So what are you going to get? 5F. 5 times 68. Minus 5 into 32. That entire thing, right? But 1 over 9 is remaining, right? Do you know why is that? Um, no. Okay, this expression, let me use another another color. You can C equals 5 divided by 9 F minus 32 can be written as 1 divided by 9 multiply by 5 right yeah and again underneath there is a 1 right f yeah. minus 32 this is same as 1 divided by 9 I'll put a 5 multiply by 5 F minus 32. So what is 5 into 1? 5 into, uh, five, 5 into 1 is 5. Yeah, then right. that this is this part, right? Yeah. Then 9, under, uh, denominator is 9. On the numerator, this is same as 5 minus 32 right yeah. that's what we have it here you see yes this part is equivalent to this part Right? Yes. Do you agree with me? Um, this is same as C, right? C. Yeah. Okay. Now, you need to learn how to solve this part. Now, what we did was we multiply. So, we don't need to write the 1 again here. So, I'm going to start working with this. It will be C equals what 1 divided by 9 oh sorry let me write it nicely my hand is one divided by nine five f minus now we multiply these two together right how do you do that like, I'll write it here 30 2 multiply by 5. What do you get? 5 into 2 5 is 10. 5, 5 into 2 is 10. There's a 1 remaining. Uh, 10. Yeah, 1 remaining. 5 into 3? 15, right? Mm -hmm. yes. 15 plus 1? 15 plus 1 is 6. Yeah, 16. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 16. Yeah. So you get this, right? 160. So this one, this value is 160, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just adding a zero to it? I mean, 5, 32 times 5 is 160. Oh. See, that's what we did here. 5 into 2 is 10. You put zero there, 
then you have one remaining five, five into three is 15 plus 15 15 plus 1 is 16 are you with me yes all right very good so now we have this now you said you don't know how to divide five uh five by nine right we change the problem right so in the question number 20 what is the value of f in fahrenheit 60 or something uh, 60. okay you we substitute now sub cute f equals 68 to the to the above equation see what so what it means now c equals 1 divided by 9 this bracket 5 into 68 we substitute 68 for f this is means 5f means multiplication right you know that yeah okay then e minus sign here then we have 160 right yeah. all right now i need more uh, room oh wow i don't have enough room. aha what i'm gonna do how to get more room I either should I erase something or let me let me add another page right I don't have to save it Oh, Peter. Uh, F E B February twenty fifth, right? Today twenty fifth or twenty sixth? Um, okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Four. Now we have that, right? What was the equation we had? The equation was um. S C equals. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Right. Let's do this equation again. Five divided by nine. Five over nine. Um, sixty-eight minus thirty-two. No, no. Let's write this. F minus. Five. F minus. Thirty-two. Right. Yeah. Let's re re uh, review this one. Right. This is what we did. Now, this is same as. 1 over 9, 5F minus 32 into 5, right? Okay, let's do it uh, the same order. 5 into 32. See, 5F. We use a different color. What I did was, I multiplied this guy by this. Again, multiply this guy by this. Or, oh, sorry. Again, multiply this guy by 32, right? When I'm multiplying, I keep the same sign in the middle, right? Do you, do you see what I'm doing? Yes. If, the, if, if you multiply or by something, a quantity inside, if there are plus or minus signs you have to uh, keep this those signs mm -hmm. yeah i know what you're doing i did this before but like we're, we're multiplying it, right? what we're multiplying it right yes exactly i just want you to show you the steps right properly and this is equal to one over nine we did five f Minus 
32 times 5 is what? We did that. 32 times 5? Yeah. Oh, 160. Exactly. Good job. Right? This is same as... I like to write it nicely. Let me erase this one and write, write it nicely. Okay. So you can... Uh, 1 over 9 5F If you are using some letters, try to make sure that write it a little bit bigger, right? Bigger than the number. So you won't get confused. 5F time, that 5 times 2 is 160. See now you know where to substitute. So we rewrite this one C equals 1 over. Oh, I have to show you another trick. Right? This is a very, very useful trick. So you write the C, right? Then you write the equal sign. Now the denominator and numerator line has to be in the middle of this. I'll sh it's a trick that you will always find easy. 1 over 9. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 1 over 9. I will show you in the later as a magic you could do, right? So mm -hmm. then always if, if nothing on it, so you write down, you consider there's a line like this, imaginary, right? Like, like this. Yes. But you don't write that. So you write the letter 5 capital F, little bit bigger, any letter you write it little bit bigger than a number, minus, again whatever the signs, minus or plus or multiplication signs always align with this line, right, minus 160, right, this is same right, this is what the same thing that we wrote down here. I was trying to show you a, like a trick kind of a thing because that way it's easy to understand what to do next step. That's why we are doing it. Try to, you know, the way of writing things. Sometimes in math we get stuck, right? I also get stuck. We don't know. I don't know what to do next because I don't see in my head what I'm supposed to do. But if I write it in a way, in a manner that I get to see what I need, need I must do. Are you with me, Mali? Yeah. Okay. Uh, substitute. Now substitute. I'll get a different color. I should have more multiple colors. I don't know why. I'll get gray. Yeah, I don't like gray. You do you like gray? Well, like what? Do you like the color gray? I don't like it. Yeah, I like, I like um, blue. Okay, you um, like blue? I'll, I use, I'll use green to write like you no know, steps, right? Now. Uh, I wanna, I'll, since you like blue, I'll use the blue. Oh, okay. Now. Oh, okay, before that, I want to tell you something else. See now, what are the letters and what are the numbers here? We don't know C. That's what we are looking for. And we are... What are the remaining letters that on this equation? This is an equation, right? What are the remaining things? C and F, right? Yeah. The other things are numbers. We look for letters to substitute. So what in the equi in the book on the question number twenty, right? What it says. Let 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 me see what question number twenty is, right? See, it's a question number twenty. The water. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Said the high. The waterman said that that the high temperature today will be sixty eight degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit means F, right? Here. Yeah. 
what is the temperature in degrees in Celsius? Celsius means C. Cap C Celsius. Use use a calculator, but like but we can I I'm showing you what are the tricks you can do. C equals five divided by nine, F minus thirty-two. Right? No. Nope. Alright, so we are here. Now substitute. F equals sixty-eight to this equation. So what we what do you again what we gonna get? C equals one divided by nine. Entire thing multiplied by five. Now fifty-eight is sixty-eight, right? Sorry, F is fifty-eight, sixty-eight, right? You write sixty-eight here, and you have the minus sign. Then 160. So we do the multiplication again here. So 68. We'll do our multiplications and things here. 68 multiply by 5. 5 into uh, 5 into 8 is 40. 4 remaining. 5 into 6 is 30. 30 plus 4, 34, 5 into 8 is 40, 5 into 6 is 36, 36, 30, 30 plus 4 is 340, right? So this value is 340, C equals still 1 over 9. Is there like a way to do it somewhere? I'm telling I'm telling you this is the simplest way when you have math long math problems because in your exam you're gonna get a value to do this way getting complicating things so uh, this you when you break it down each step that you're supposed to do in your head this is actually what you're supposed to do in your head I'm breaking down to make you understand right now you have to solve this section 340 minus 160. What is 340? 340 minus 160. 0. When it is 9, you can't do uh, 14. You bring a 1 from this side. It will be 14. 14 minus 6. What is that? For, uh, it would be... No, um, uh, that would be 14, and the uh, 3 would be a 2, so let's see, um, it would be 8, right? Yes, exactly, good job, yeah. great job. So now it is what is remaining here, 2, right? Yep, two and that would be equal 1. Hey, good job, good job. So this quantity, right, entire this quantity is equal to 180. We still read, write down the steps. Steps are important. Steps are the magic. Right? 180, right? This is yes. perfectly correct, right? Yep. So what this what does it mean? C equals C equals one no, uh, one over nine. 180 divided by oh. nine, right? See the whole expression. That's why I'm saying one by 1 multiplied by 180 is what? This means 1 multiplied by 180. Wait, how did you get the 340 again? You did 68 times 5, right? 68 5 times. Because 60, we get 68, it, is, it says F is equal to 68 Fahrenheit. So we do, so we do 68 times 5, we get 340. So first, we do 5 times 68. Mm -hmm. That equals 160. Then you do 5 times. Wait, 60. wait, wait. What, 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 what? Then we do. Oh, sorry. 60. I did a mistake. Look. Good job. Good job. Did I do a mistake? No, I didn't do a mistake. No. No. Yeah. And then we do uh, 65 times 5. 68 yeah. times 5. That equals 240. Then we, need, uh, we do 240 minus 160. That equals 180. Now it's 180 over 9. 
hold on this 68 uh, multiply by 5 is this right yeah you see this yes right this is that's what we did mm -hmm. this is 340 we get that so how did you get a uh, 160 how did we get 160 yeah 5 into 32 right 160 yes so we got from this guy good catch since you asked me so i'm just i wrote it down right okay. so it can go both ways see it's equal right mm -hmm. so then we got 340 here 160 we can do this subtraction right so we did the subtraction this whole thing Yeah. Okay, I was I thought okay, I'm like you with me, right? So yeah. when this part when you subtract 304 340 mal subtract 160, the answer is 180. Now one multiply by 180 because there's a one on the numerator, nine in the denominator. Multiply by 180. You see that? Mali. Yeah, so it um so we do so we always do one times one hundred and eighty because of the numerator? Yeah, we multiply the numerator thing, right? Because one into what does it mean? This quantity whole hundred and eighty will be multiplied by one divided by nine. So this is like a two quantities, right? 1 divided by 9 multiply by 180. The bracket indicates the multiplication. This brackets, right? Parentheses. Remember that in the class we learned parentheses means multiplication? Okay. See, that, that's what it means. Actually, you can put it, if you want, you can put here, even though... Uh, we didn't put it, it's not a problem. It's the same as multiplication. Okay. You put a multiplication sign. If there is no multiplication sign in front of the bracket, that means multiplication, right? So, uh, yeah, okay, just let me re redo that. So, what is this? 180. This part, right? Mm hmm. So 180 is on the top, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then again, also, when you write down this, actually, I can... Oops, sorry. I'll write down this step on the board below, right? So what is the next step? Do you divide it? Yeah, but but in case what if the if the if the value is not one, if it is two or five or something, you have to multiply these two quantities, right? We solved inside the parentheses, right? We got 180. Now we have to multiply this part. What if this is uh, something else, right? Like two by nine into in 280 you yes. multiply these two first right you have to right yes it's a hypothetical to. question i ask hypothetical means just a something that in case if, if it oh sorry
so we get 100 that's what it's that's what I meant by 1 multiplied by 180 equals 180 right so we got 180 divided by 9 now all we have to do is 180 it's a very simple thing divide by 9 9 times 2 is 18 0 right then you put 20 yes yeah which is 9 multiplied by 20 also 180 right that all you can do, rewrite this one as same as I'm going to write down C equals 180 18 multiplied by 10 divided by 9 right so when you multiply 180 by 9 uh, 18 by 10 you get 180 right you just simply add a 0 I am showing you tricks are you with me Mali yes I'm here with you yeah so any number you want to 5 multiply by 10 is 50 right no I was showing you exactly just a trick a, a simple trick this is not relevant to that where did you get the 10 and the 9 times 20 and all that uh, because you need to divide this right 180 okay. divided by 9 so I did this long division Remember this long division you did it in the previous uh, class? Yes. Okay, let me erase this stuff because these are not relevant to what for to solve this one, right? This is important, this part. So 9 divided by which is 20. C equals 20. Ta da! You got the answer. So, I oh, see. So, so, we did a one, uh, one, uh, 1 over 9 times 180. After that, we do 9 times 20. Na one, 9 times 20 got, no, no, I, this is just like a kind of, you know, steps I showed you what ha what was happening. Actually, you don't so need this one. Don't, don't, don't worry about got, it. Wait, we got 20 by dividing 180 and 9? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, no, no. What did you say? We got 20 by doing 180 divided by 9. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This answer is C. 20. Okay. Yeah, 20. Yeah, C is 20. I put a smiley face too. Mm -hmm. Ready? Good job. This is problem number 20, right? Always put the date. Always put the date. Where should I? Let's. Uh, On the top left, it is. Top left. I don't have space though. Okay, problem number is twenty. We say I'll, I'll write down in here, right? Uh, problem number. Number twenty. Date is zero two. Today's, what day is it today? Today is the 26th. 26th. 201.16. Okay. All right. Now, I am going to stop recording.